Hey everyone, so tonight I'm doing something different, not a Marvel Legends. I'm doing the Marvel Universe Gigantic Battles Frost Giant. From It's a Walmart exclusive. This is for um, requested by Clay. So I'll go ahead and do a quick little... So I haven't done a big figure in a while, so I'm going to do a quick little 360 uh, as best I can with the upper body, and we'll go ahead and look at the rest in a second. Alright, so I'll go ahead and check out the details of the Frost Giant. All right. So first, we'll start out with his one with his accessory. So he comes with this really nice uh, axe. It looks really cool. I really like the sculpt of the blade, along with the pointy back end. It looks like real stone. There's not a lot of paint detail. It's just got really good sculpt work. So when the light hits it right, it looks like it has um, that detail. I really like the wrap around it to keep it all held together. I think that looks really nice with the gold paint on the tip. And then it just looks like a little piece of like a big piece of wood. Also having some wrap at the bottom. Very cool. And I'll go ahead and go over the helmet really quick. And this guy is heavy too. Uh, the helmet is really nice looking. Excuse me. Um, it's very pliable and squishy. Um, but it looks like real bone. I really like the paint they did. You know, the paint work they did. It's got a big crack and hole in it on the back. I like the way the horns look. It looks really cool. And it fits on his face. Perfect. It's got some more cracks and you know scrapes you can kind of see where the skull bone actually meets men's together very cool it looks kind of carved out so you can kind of see how he made it into a helmet really brutal looking very cool all right so i'm going to see how i can do this i'm going to point the camera up so you can kind of see him without um about the helmet so actually i'm just going to hold the camera <laughs> we're going to go ahead and go over the details so going over the details of the figure it just looks cool i really like the head sculpt on this guy He's got like a little goatee, very yellowish, sharp, pointy teeth. Um, he's got an evil look on his face, and I like the pointy, you know, kind of elf-looking ears. Um, he's got red eyes, a very snarly, mean look with that nose piercing, the ring, with the gold ring. But it's really got a nice paint job with the different uh, darker blues, lighter blues, and like a little bit of a white on the side here. Very cool, and it's kind of bumpy. It's pretty... It looks kind of like an ogre, you know, a very bumpy look on the top of his head. Um, going to the other part of the figure, I really like how they did the fur. Um, very nice. Uh, it's got it's got kind of a brown with the black and a little bit of a frosty white, kind of like snow on his shoulders. Very well done. Um, going to the armor, armor just looks freaking sweet. I love how this came out. I really like the um, silver wash over it really bring out all the scrapes and dents and nicks just looks like he's been through some battles it looks really cool you can see a little bit more on the inside here um more like kind of like a mesh chain you know look on his abs and going over this little uh, skirt very cool again it's the same kind of fur with the rope tied off it makes it look really nice um kind of just tied off around the back again more just great sculpting detail great work um for being like for this time period when you know Marvel Legends wasn't looking so great, and seeing the detail they did on this on these Marvel Universe earlier Mar Marvel Universe figures is is just really cool. They did a great job. Again, it's more of that kind of white paint on there to give it that kind of cold frost look, like it's been frozen over. It looks really cool. Then going over his arms, you can kind of see more. It just kind of goes from the different lighter blues, darker blues, and kind of more of a white on the plastic. And you've got some gold gauntlets on his wrists. Very nice. Then going over his feet and legs, um, it's just kind of more of a darker, really dark brown. But the wraps around his shins and feet are really well done. It's got tons of wash and details, nice sculpt work. But you can see all the wraps around his ankles. It looks really nice, very well done. I think it just looks awesome. You can see his little blue, you know, frost giant toes, those blue foot toenails, kind of got some chipping on there. See some more. Very cool, very cool. Just a highly detailed giant figure, and he's heavy. He's got a lot of weight to him. So I'll go ahead and go over the articulation. All right, guys, so I'm going to do my best here, so bear with me. <laughs> so his head can look up, not too much, about that much. Looks down, it looks like it's on just a ball joint. I don't see a, yeah, it's just on a ball joint, so it looks left and right. He's got ball joints in the shoulders, so they move out and forward. He's got an upper bicep swivel. Single jointed elbow, so you can move down and up about 90 degrees. Uh, he's got wrist rotation. You can see his wrist can rotate right there at the gauntlet. 
and then he's also got a hinge at the hand. And then the left hand has individual finger articulation, which is pretty cool. And then the right hand does not. It just has the gripping hand for the axe. I've just actually been using the finger articulated hand for the axe just because uh, I didn't want to stretch out his fingers, but I may switch that up so you can get him in better poses. He's got um, a nice ab crunch. He crunches forward that much, crunches back that much. Um, oh, I don't, I cannot see my, my waist swivel. I've seen other videos where the, they have a waist swivel. Mine's really stuck and I don't want to force it and end up breaking the figure. Um, he's got a uh, ball joint in the leg so you can kind of rotate them up and out. The loincloth definitely gets in the way. Um, kind of kick him out that much. It's got an upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees, no boot rotation at all. His ankles move down and they move up. It's got a slight ankle rocker and no toe, artic no toe articulation, no peggles at the bottom of his feet. Yeah, I just don't want to force that. And I'll show you guys how tall the frost giant is. Oh, and I'll show you guys how well it fits on his head real quick. There's his helmet. Very brutal. <laughs> all right, I'll show you guys how tall frost giant is. All right, sorry for the flop, sloppy camera work, guys. It's just hard. it's harder with these bigger figures. I'm just not used to them. So the standing up frost giant, he's right at just above 12 inches tall. So he's about 12 and a half inches tall. So he's a big guy. I'll show you him next to a couple of the other. Um, well, here he is next to Loki. Why not, right? The Marvel Legends Loki. So you can kind of get a little uh, size comparison. I think it fits in well. Very well. It just looks sick. Very cool figure. I definitely, this is an awesome figure. It'd be amazing to army build these guys. This would be kind of freaky. Um, here he is next to the Marvel Legends Sentinel. So you can see the height difference of the Sentinel. Sentinel's just always massive to me. And I'll go ahead and I'll see how many I can fit in here, actually. Um, I'll go ahead and put in the blue Apocalypse. Uh, looking down, very angry at the Frost Giant. And then, I'm sorry for the sloppy camera work again, guys. We'll stick in Giant Man. So you guys get an idea. So he's, he's definitely the shorter one out of the bunch, but still, he's a, he's a big figure and he's heavy. Um, I definitely think he's, he, I think he's awesome. I, I love the detail on him. The only downfall I would say about the Frost Giant is since he is so heavy, there's a lot of, it's kind of like an apocalypse where if you don't have tight, you know, joints in the ankles and knees, the figure just falls over. Where mine's on my frost giant, it's it's okay. It's not very, it's not super tight, but um, he will fall over. He's fallen over off my shelf, not all the way. Like I don't put him up very high just because of that reason, but he has fallen off my shelf a good three times now. So he just kind of, you know, just takes that one little kind of nudge, and he's just got a heavy upper body. I had to keep his legs kind of very. Um, stance that way to keep him from falling but overall I think this is an awesome figure if you're in you know I, I say if you guys see him for a good deal I to me he's really overpriced now um, but if you see him at a toy show for a great deal I say you can't lose picking this guy up you'll be very happy with him but there you go guys I hope you guys liked my review on the Mar on the Marvel Universe uh, Frost Giant please leave a comment hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't all right thanks guys have a great night bye